one of Russia's biggest and brightest talent, Kirill Alexienko, who also got the wildcard spot into the candidates, won a thrilling game with the Black Pieces today in round one of the Gibraltar Masters. He tells us what happened. Kirill, a good win with the Black Pieces in round one. I'm sure you're pleased with the result. What about the game? Uh, yeah, it was an interesting game. Uh, my opponent, uh, we were repeating the, like the recent game of Aronian and Carson from Alpha Man till the move uh, 12, I think. Yeah, in this position, as I remember, Aronian took on f5, rook f5, and ig3, rook e5, and it was some position like this, but my opponent made a new move for me, knight f4. Was this his preparation? Because I saw you were analyzing it. Yeah, later. yeah, but I was just down on for 40 minutes. Already on the board? Already, yeah. So you were not expecting this? Yeah, I just expected the first move, c4, then I just tried to choose the most critical line. Yeah, and of course I didn't expect the, yeah, this, not f4. Probably it's just a novelty, I don't know. Here, I had several opportunities to play queen h4, then queen f6, to sacrifice somewhere a rook. Oh, also, I was fine with knight e5. Yeah, the idea is just to take on e4 and defend from knight e6. So he still played knight e6, take, take, knight b6. Uh, yeah, I'll put a couple moves further to the critical moment. I mean, you say a couple of moves further to the critical moments, but this already looks like a pretty crazy position. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but still, it's like quite forced, I think. So yeah, e here e7. I had also move knight e7, but I didn't like uh, bishop d1 as well, also queen f3 looks very wild. So I couldn't understand what's going on on the board. So yeah, after queen e7, at least I have uh, the position I can understand. So looking at this position, because it, can, it looks like it's blown up already, how were you evaluating it during the game? Um, I thought it should be about equal, but as he played after queen f3, knight e4, bishop d4, cd, I thought if he will just uh, make a short castle, a short castle, uh, knight e3, rook c1, I thought this position should be about equal, maybe slightly better for me, but still nothing dangerous. But then he took an f5, knight e3. Now he can't castle on either side. Yeah, either. but spawn up, so after bishop d3, yeah, bishop d3 was very, very bad move. And after f5, I just had almost a winning position, I think. So but why is bishop b3 so bad here? Um, is it because, because you just... Uh, yeah, because he should defend the f5 pawn, also the bishop on b3 stay very stupid because after a5, a4 is coming and yes. it's very hard to find any good square for this bishop. So after bishop d3, did you have something in mind or was it just a... Yeah, but it's very hard to evaluate this position because white is pawn up, but they can't cast it also. I was going to play something like rook's eight, uh, or maybe king d2. And for example, if I will take on f5, um, what if some idea is somewhere with g4 and queen e4? Maybe it's not working here, but somewhere. But also maybe they can just take on f5, queen e4, looks very well. The king on d2 is no problem for white. Yeah, maybe they should, say, uh, they should keep the bishop on d3 and play something like rook e1. Yeah. Just very hard to say what's going on here. So you were quite pleased to see bishop b3 on the board? Yeah, I really didn't expect to see this bishop b3. Because uh, yeah, after f5, it's not so easy to find a good move for white. Because a3 and a4 it's just lose immediately, as it was in the game. But I don't know what even to offer for white. It's already, it already looks quite yeah, bad, because you've got a4 coming. Yeah, a4, rook c8, knight c2. It's very, very difficult position for white already. But looking at this game, it looks like you took your chances. You sacrificed the pawn and tried to create um, a dynamic position. Is, uh, and that's kind of like an approach when going into the first round of an open event. Um, yeah, usually it, it should be 
or in an easier way, but sometimes it happens and my opponent found a good idea in the opening. So yeah, I was lucky to find some counterplay to not make a draw immediately or to not get a bad position. So yeah, I was very satisfied with the result of the opening. Yes, and you're back in Gibraltar for the second time, Carol. Yeah. What was it that made you want to come back here? Uh, I really enjoyed last year. It was one of my first big events. Um, and also I was doing very well till two last rounds. Yes. I was trading in the first place, but then I lost to Maxim. So yeah, I wanted to show the better <laughs> result here this year. Yes, and we're very happy you've joined us here. Uh, now, Carol, is this also your last event before the candidates event tournament? Yeah. yeah. And that's how it. is that? Is that something that's on your mind? Um, I know, I just wanted to not rest yes. the whole like three months to the candidates. So, yeah, it will be like a warm up. For the candidates? Yeah. yeah. And but still, I, I will do my best here and we'll try to struggle for the first place. Well, we're gonna, we look forward to seeing what you bring to the board and we look forward to having you back with us here. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carol. Thank you.